Hey guys, this is a little walk around of the new Toyota Hilux. Sorry for the bad conditions. I have real no control over them. And um, sorry for the road noise because this dealer is right next to a main road. So, yeah. Towards the front, you've got some halogen headlights, which are blacked out. And they've got LED daytime rain lights, as you can see. They look quite nice. The fog lights. Front diffuser and your new grill which actually has two different finishes you see it's got some chrome here and it's got kind of a different sort of material over there too. fuel consumption of this car I mean this um, ute is 8.5 liters per hundred tears it's a 2.8 a 2.8 litre four cylinder diesel engine. You can see. I love the wheels. Got chrome side, side view mirrors. Looks quite good. Chrome black actually. But. Yeah, with the indicators as well. Just <laughs> step here, so if you want to jump up and actually take your items from the from the boot, it might be a bit hard, but it's good. It just makes it a bit more convenient. It's also chrome, the handle here, the brake light, it's pretty heavy so that would be a bit delicate. Lots of storage as you can see, got strong hinges here, got a lot of hooks so you can actually um, tie down items as well. Lights. You got some more chrome on the bumper. So. The side sets. Makes it easier getting into the vehicle. We've got a side through so it makes it easier to grip on so you don't actually sit. You can see the main road right here, there's a lot of cars coming through, which is why it's so noisy. Well, here's the interior, as you can see. You've got your rev counter, your temperature gauge for the engine, your speedo, and your fuel gauge, as you can see. Obviously, your wiper controls, and your indicators and headlight controls, as you can see. Your controls for the little LCD display over there. Your controls for your phone, answer, cancel, voice command, and your audio controls for the the media system. Also have your controls for your cruise control, which is a, which is which is pretty handy. It's leather wrapped, kind of feels more like vinyl though, well bolstered. 
Got some grey stitching here, as you can see. Quite nice. I actually like the new interior, it looks much better than the old one. Got a little clock there as well. It's a little hard to see, but it's a digital one, so it's pretty cool. Got some storage here, as you can see. And some there as well. This is where they put the navigation cards normally. Normally they put them in there. This one though, if you can get them, take it out. No, it's not coming out, but that's where you put your SD card. That's the SD card for the maps. Now they don't put them on DVDs anymore. So, yeah. <laughs> Different driving modes. speeds, temperature, and your different zones. Got power outlet over here. USB and aux input. Um, hill descent control. You can lock the wheels, the rear or the front, which is also pretty handy. Got another power outlet here. 120 watts and some more controls here. Push. Change the modes, okay. Economy mode and a power mode. Gear lever. Got some piano black trim. Got some storage here. Oh, good. Your handbrake. Got some grey stitching here. You got um actual power outlet, hundred watt. So you can actually plug in like the actual port than using these ones. So the ones you those wall socket ports, you can actually put that straight in here. It's got one of those in the Bit hard to see, but yeah. You can see the seats. Got the nice pen over there, as you can see. It's very nice. Smooth that grey stitching. Window controls. Sorry, it's covered in water, as you can see, I'm wet. Some storage here. Put your drinks, maybe a malware or a map or something like that. Trim. Hot plastics. Sunglass holder. Got some lights. Put some cards in there. Got a card holder. You can slide your business card in there, and you've got a vanity mirror. See the tweeters in the corner over there? You see them? Base speakers there. You can see a little bit of the storage there, a little bit better. And you've only got one window control there. I think this is touch screen, but, oh, it's obviously touch screen, but there's no power button or there's no way to actually physically turn it on without the key, which is rather unfortunate. But anyway. Got some storage here. And you got two cup holders, which is cool. Fit some large drinks, which is good. So maybe some coffee or something. I notice you got a lot of handles here. See there's two there. And one on that side and the other side. And then when when you're going off-road it might just get a bit rocky so you got some sense of stability if you want to hold on to something, which is good. I think these lines are for the rain sensing wipers, so I think that's what's that for. Or the heated. Maybe they have um heated for the demisters or something like that. Not too sure. 
Oh, we'll check out the receipts. So, see how much storage you got there. I just forgot you got another cup holder here. And your control idle, I don't know what that's for. And that's for the fuel. If you want to check how much it runs on, which you might check later. Um, yeah. And just start stop doesn't have a key anymore. It's pretty much the standard now. Handles there. Got some pockets here to hold some stuff. Got these hooks here which can hold up to four kilos. So maybe you could put, I don't know, t shirts or something. You can hang like your clothes or something if you want to. Pretty nifty. Hides away really well. Um, there's not a large transmission tunnel, so you can actually. Put your feet on the side so it doesn't actually obstruct your, your space, which is good. Good middle seat and plenty of space on the sides, which is good. You can see the interior from the rear seat. Pull this down, you got two additional cup holders. You can't actually pass through any items there. So you're gonna get a better look. There you go, so that's the obviously the boost part of the ute, <laughs> I don't know what you call it. Um, yeah, so you can actually see as well storage there. As well, so for the seats, you can see you've got the same pattern as earlier. It's also got the... Well, it doesn't actually have that, actually, that grey stitching, which is rather unfortunate. Obviously, you can adjust them. Oh, come on, don't be mean. There you go. So you can obviously adjust the height of them. That's what I'm meant to do. These aren't quite flat compared to the front ones, but I think it's because of the amount of space you had have. You got some well you can actually mount a baby booster which is good, you got some hooks for that. I believe if you pull that, there's a handle there. I don't know what it does, but I'm trying to pull it. Doesn't seem to be working, but I don't know what it does, but if you do know, um may by all means tell me in the comments below. Maybe it's to fall down the seats, I don't know. Anyway, you've got some piano black trim here, cloth handles, some cloth trim actually over the handles. you got some more storage there, got some more on this side too, it's hard to see. I'll just do that, maybe that might make it a bit easier. No, it didn't do anything. a bit you could probably look through it's, it's, yeah, easy to see there's some decent storage for some drinks as you can see which is good hot plastics should get a better look again I mentioned this car was a diesel, I mean this used a diesel. Yeah, diesel. Well that's my little walk around of the new Toyota Hilux. I hope you enjoyed this review and um, again sorry for the conditions and stuff like that but um, thanks for watching and feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks.